This is where we got dropped off. Gorgeous. Come with me to get a Valentine's Day present. I asked his sister a place. That man just asked me if he could take a picture of me. He didn't try and sell me anything. He didn't do anything. He just had a camera and he was like, you look beautiful right now. The light is perfect on you. Can I take your photo? So, all right. And I had to take my sunglasses off because I was wearing all black and my sunglasses and I felt like I was on a secret mission. And I'm thinking of getting him something vintage, jewelry, maybe a ring, maybe a necklace. He loves unique things. I want to get something gold. I asked his sister for a good antique jewelry place and she said there were a few on this street. So let's go. This is the first place. I don't like that the name is in English, but we can window shop a little bit. I was there for one minute. But across the street, we have another store. I had to stop. I went in the cutest store. It was like a home store. It was everything that I love in a store. It was called Layla. I got some really cute candles and candlestick holders, but back on the mission, it's not about shopping for me. But look how cute the little candles are and these little holders. We're gonna take a look. I also could get him something coral. He like loves this color. Wait, that one was $4 signs, so let's keep walking. Full conversation in Italian, but they didn't have what I'm looking for. There are so many stores here to shop from. This is amazing. We have found another shop. This one has caught my eye. The very third one. It looks antique -y. I'm not sure the price, but it's gold and black, and I like it. Like, definitely not, but this is so cool. I don't know if I'm being too picky or if I'm being too broke. Do you know how hard it is for me to not be, like, into the store right now? Oh shit, now I'm going. If I can't find anything, there's always that. Oh. <gasps> Wait, literally as I said that, oh my god. The best contender is currently this one. So cute. So cute again, I love this store. It might appear that the other shops that I thought were an option are the ones that I was looking at the whole time, so. Okay, this store needs to chill. Like, can you not? And in the window too. Can you not? I was on the verge of tears listening to Johnny Cash ring a fire in the store because I was looking at rings to replace the one that I inherited from my grandmother that has since been lost or stolen. And Johnny Cash was my grandfather's favorite musician, so it just really felt like a sign. A few minutes after, I saw this super particular cat ring that's made in sterling silver i love all the details on it but it was a little out of my price range all right finally i was in that store for so long i ended up getting him two rings because i couldn't decide i also got him a mini cologne i got him one ring but i don't know if he'd wear it because he doesn't wear really wear rings but it's so cool and there was a price tag on it for 130 bucks because it was vintage but the price tag was like kind of falling off and then I like was holding it for like 30 minutes and I was like, no, never mind. And I put it back. And then the girl next to me 10 minutes later picks it up and asks how much it is because the price tag was off. And he was like, mm, 69. So I was like, I need to buy this. <laughs> also, when I was in the store for like 10 minutes, Johnny Cash Ring of Fire started playing and I almost started crying in the store. Safe to say he loved it all. Ciao.